So now that we've established the first four types of fungi, in this next video and flowchart, which we'll entitle Types of Fungi 2, we're going to cover the fifth and final types of fung type of fungi. Um, and this is the one of most importance to us because we're actually going to be looking at its sexual and asexual life cycles and also a bit of background associated with it. It's a very common fungi. It's called the class of fungi, type of fungi called the Ascomycetes. And of course, we have that root of mycetes, so we're of course referring to some sort of fungi. We'll get into what the asco part means in just a second. So a bit of background on the ascomycetes. Let's do that over here. So let's go over some background points to understand about this very diverse and broad class of fungi. First and foremost, it's the phylum with the most species. The actual term here to classify these fungi, the four that we went over and this fifth and final one, are phyla. And this is a large phylum of fungi with the most species out of all of them. Um, the number that we can put to this is about 65,000 different types of ascomycetes. Think about that, 65,000 different types of these types of fungi. So they're very, very successful, most species within this phyla. Another important background note is that these uh, fungi are single-celled and they are also filamentous. Okay, they are single-celled and they're also filamentous in their structure. I'll get to what we mean by the single cell. This doesn't necessarily mean that the fungi themselves are just going to be one cell and that's it. It's the fact that they actually have what we would consider septate. And we'll get into that um, in just a second. A couple of other examples associated with this to remember. Just to put this into perspective, what types of fungi consider themselves ascomycetes? These would be things like penicillin, penicillium. This was the fungi that was found on moldy bread that led to the introduction of penicillin as the antibiotic, which changed the entire world of healthcare um, in one simple bready, uh, moldy bread piece. So that's our moldy bread uh, type of uh, fungi. We also have morals and truffles as another example. These are very, very fancy food items, morals and truffles very expensive as well. Baker's yeast also counts as one of these guys. Baker's yeast is a ascomycete and lichens, which we'll explain in just a second. Very important mutualistic relationship these lichens have with their uh, host. So back to the single cell and filamentous nature. This is further defined by the fact that ascomyces have something called a septate, and we talked about this. Septate is a type of hypha. Specifically, if you remember, septate are um, perforated hypha. Perforated hypha. It's not that continuous hypha, not that continuous hyphae like the sinusitic hyphae. It's actually the opposite where you have these compartmentalizations, these single-celled regions that end up giving you a filamentous overall structure. When I refer to the figure, this will make a lot more sense when you look at the actual structure of an ascomycete fungi. Very diverse, very diverse phylum, I should say, of fungi for this reason, the septate structure that they have. In addition, last thing to know about the ascomycetes is that they are actually sac fungi. That's the type of fungi that they are normally classified in, in layman's terms. Essentially, this means the following. It means that they have sexually, uh, sexual spores, um, sexual, sexually produced spores, I should say. Sexually produced spores. Spores, remember, are that single haploid type of structure that allows for the growth of a new fungi. Sexually produced spores um, are formed in microscopic sacs, formed in microscopic, very, very small uh, sacs. This is why they're called sac fungi, because of these microscopic sacs that they possess. And these are generally referred to more specifically as asci. Several microscopic sacs, a bunch of microscopic sacs, are known as asci. One microscopic sac that forms this one spore would be an ascus. That's a singular. This is the plural. Ascus is the singular. These are many microscopic sacs would be asci. Thus the name ascomycetes. They're sac fungi. 
So what does this have to do with their overall structure? This is going to give us a structure that's important in the function, in the sexual reproduction specifically of these fungi. Before we get into that, we have to first cover one part of their life cycle, which is the asexual part. So they have the capability, if you saw in the previous video um, on, sec on the reproduction of fungi to switch between asexual and sexual depending on the environment. Usually if the environment is good, simple, staying the same, we will stick to asexual reproduction. And so let's cover asexual reproduction in the ascomycetes. What happens here? Here, this is a very fast form of reproduction, as you probably already know from our understanding of binary fission, which was another type of asexual reproduction in prokaryotes. So it's always fast, it's efficient. Um, and specifically, what you should remember about this type of reproduction in ascomycetes is that it releases haploid, haploid is just one half of the DNA, releases haploid conidia, C-O-N-I-D-I-A, conidia, it's a new term for us, spores. Remember, spores are the normal reproductive structure that starts everything. What do these guys do? These conidia are simply going to be structures that are produced in the conidia fours, thus they're called conidia, produced in specific reproductive structures called the conidio fours of the fungi. So this is the structure, this is the result, a conidia is, comes from a conidia 4, specifically a spore comes from a conidia 4. And then finally, um, once you have this release, these conidia spores, they break off, aka they release, they can germinate into a nice environment with food that's moist, and if so, they will undergo mitosis. And if they undergo mitosis, they will grow. And if they will grow, they will have this filamentous, single-celled, septate, perforated hyphae structure wherever they land, wherever they germinate, wherever they undergo mitosis. So this is their asexual life cycle. Very simple life cycle based off of a nice, stable environment.